It's seven o'clock in the evening and I've arrived at a cottage somewhere in West Cornwall and I'm here to meet a very secret society. They work under the cover of darkness and their exploits have taken them as far afield as New York. Every serious graffiti artist must remain anonymous. In this case, homemade knitted balaclavas are just the thing. These grannies love to knit and then sneak out in the dead of night and drop their knitted creations in towns and villages around Cornwall. 69 mice in Mausel, shoals of fish in Penzance. It's, it's just simply to make people happy. Um, people see our work, they smile, might be walking along miserable one day and it cheers people up, really. People say things, we've been asked, do you know the graffiti guys? I've been and said, we've heard about the graffiti, do you know any of them? I said, no don't know who they are, no idea. But it's nice when people talk about you and you can stand beside them and thinking, I've done that. Now this secret knitting group's fame has gone global. Last month they were flown to America by Vogue for a special exhibition. And when you're in New York, Central Park is the perfect venue. Back from the bright lights of the city, these close-knit friends are now hard at work on their next project. Making some pom-poms for the next yarn bomb. Yeah, it's a bit of a red theme going on here. Yeah, a bit of a love theme. So this is for Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, they can't possibly reveal their target, so you'll just have to wait and see. Eleanor Parkinson, BBC Spotlight, the Graffiti Grannies HQ in Cornwall.